Hi everyone, in this video I'm gonna try to show how to simulate machining process. As you can see, the assembly is quite basic and there are two parts, tools and billet. I applied uh, aluminum alloy nonlinear material on billet. Of course, uh, in explicit dynamics analysis, we have to use nonlinear materials. Perform nonlinear properties, there are some models such as bilinear isotropic hardening, bilinear kinematic hardening, or multilinear isotropic hardening. To see better solution, uh, we should choose multilinear isotropic hardening. But uh, to use these uh, models, we will have to find some values some experimental values of materials and honestly sometimes it's hard to find uh, so in this study i choose by linear isotopic hardening i needed to uh, find yield strength and tangent model uh, interaction type is frictionless but uh, in real application we should choose frictional type and of course we will have to find coefficient the parts are quite basic so it's easy to use uh, easy to apply mesh and I, yes uh, to a better solution we can decrease element size of billet but of course it will increase computational time also in this study i apply velocity to tool as you can see it's really a high level uh, of course in real application we should decrease this value i want to see uh, results in short time that's why i applied such high velocity and of course there are some constraints another analysis type is high velocity mm, explicit and dynamics analysis and time is crucial and to see force reaction we should turn on output contact forces in this study i wanted to see uh, the formation stress force reaction and temperature generated on billet part well, we will see better animation um, there's plastic deformation that means uh, our maximum stress value is much higher than yield strain value of material yes you can see the stress contribution like i said uh, we can we can choose multilinear isotropic hardening to see better results also we can heal the mesh quality we can change the method and uh, decrease element size to see better solution Force reaction uh, occurred on tool is important, so I wanted to find the values. And in explicit dynamics, we can see the uh, generated temperature, and it is really crucial for materials because temperature can be cause for some damages.
Yes. Thank you.